As long as we're not singing it, because I'm not singing yeah. the song. Oh, we can <laughs> if you want. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, we can lip sing. We can so lip I could do that. I could yeah, totally lip sing. Lip sing battle. I always wanted to be on that show. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I don't we are live, but I don't know why my um oh yeah, it is. It's okay. always on the delay. Okay, because I'm looking at I have another monitor behind this one so I can kind of monitor the the, uh, comments. the comments. Yeah, because I don't think we can see it here. So yeah, I can we, never see them. Yeah, me yeah. neither. Oh wait. I do Let's see there's see. a private chat and a comments. I wonder if comments hmm, I don't know. Oh yeah, now I can see myself like double. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a delay, so like you see it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try not to talk with my hands as much. Like I feel like, you know, like Ricky Bobby, you ever see that? I don't know what to do with my hands. So. <laughs> I talk with my hands, like, but they're off screen. Or you just see my awkward fingers. Oh, your fingers, yeah. Because yeah. like, like, I'm gesturing too well. You're right. Let's see, that's smart. I don't do that. So my hands are always like ridiculous. I always look back and like, what was I doing? Was I flying? <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Next time I need to put a banner out there. My name is Amy. We also have Jess and Sam on live with us. And I see two people are watching right now. Yay! Um, I don't know who you are. If you want, drop a comment, say hello to us. But you're our favorites. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Because you tune in right on time. Thank you so much. And uh, today we're going to talk about whether buying pre-love or brand new and we all have our thoughts and want to share with everybody. And I'm sure Jess and Sam's have a lot of uh, experience. So uh, they're going to share with everybody, you know, what item you should actually buy online. I mean, buy brand new or what items you actually let off go pre-love. So who wants to start first? I know we only have two people watching, but this is, uh, you know, later on, I mean, actually it will get recorded so you can always watch it later. So we don't want to waste anybody's time because we like to uh, keep our live stream within like, what, an hour or an hour and a half, right? We don't yeah. want to drag it out like yeah. hours because just nobody's going to watch it anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> even myself, I'm going to watch it again. Say. That's just a waste of time, right? You want to get the first time. So just... The middle, if you've seen the middle, is Jess. And then the, I'm in the, the middle. very, well, on your right hand side is Sam. I'm going to try to see if I can put the name oh, bucket in sorry. so everybody know who we are in case you miss out the last two live streams. So, Jess, you want to go ahead and get started? Let's see. I guess I can start on a couple things. So, like when I was thinking about this topic, because I mean, retail is going mad, right? Prices are going up like like crazy. But then we're also seeing like the secondhand market, the pre-love market, prices be cray as well. <laughs> like they're everything is going crazy. So it got to the point, it's like actually buying retail, and it makes me want to throw up in my mouth a little bit. The painful price and buying retail might actually be the best way, the better way in some aspects. When I was thinking about it, especially when I was buying the like just the Chanel dad sandals. For example, mm -hmm. like you have the leather and am I say roughy, roughy or how do you say that? Raffia. Raffia. Yeah. I want to say B-E, but that's not right. Raffia. Yeah. Raffia. Sandals that like the retail for those, I think I bought mine for 1350 But if you look on Fashion File right now, like look on Fashion File, they're going for over $2,000 oh, for yeah. that particular style. And then the leather style. I think I saw them once like in that gold color for like 2800 to almost 3000. Yep. I found the black ones in my size. Cause like I have a really like unique size and they were 32, mm -hmm. 32,000, like oh 3,000. It was crazy. I'm yeah. It's like at, more than double. I'm looking at this right now. Like this Chanel Grand Rap Skin Velcro Dash Sando. Do you yep. know how much it's on fashion file right now? At Close least 28. 2,495. Okay, so that's and even the I mean, yellow one. The yellow one, I'm looking at this yellow one is $21.95, mm -hmm. and that's over retail significantly. And that then you pay tax on top of that to most states, at least yes. I live in California. I always pay tax. Unless you're well. Pennsylvania, we don't pay tax on you. Oh I'm so oh. jealous of you. Like, yeah, so jealous. I know we get a lot of New Yorkers that, that come and hang out in Pennsylvania to go shopping. <laughs> I guess you can be my personal shopper. I know, right? <laughs> oh. Speaking of personal shopping. That's why the prices are crazy. Yes. I, I really feel like this is why 
Is this like such a mixed thing? Anyone see Caitlin's video? If you have it, look up Caitlin Pulowski. She did one on um, why she hates these, like not personal shoppers. It's a little bit different. It's like, but it's the people that buy up all the stuff. Yeah, the resellers. I think there's a difference between sellers, sellers not like secondhand resellers. Shop. These are people. Yeah, that I saw that. Yeah. They typically try to buy this stuff. So that's yeah. what you're noticing. And I think Fashion File does it as well, mm -hmm. that they're purchasing these items to I make it scarce. So that, that's that's something I'm noticing too. So it is hard because you're like, okay, I want to pay retail. Mm -hmm. Retail is the best way, but how do you get your hands on these pieces? I really agree. Sam, it's, it's find an essay. It, yeah, it's oh, find yeah. an essay. And I mean, it's really hard. I was, when I was in literally Hermes yesterday, it was interesting because even I was talking to my sales associate about like the resale market because she was mm -hmm. saying like, you know, certain pieces here, people are always shocked at the actual price because they see them pre-loved and they're like three times the price. But she was saying at the same time, like you can't necessarily totally hate the resellers and like all those people who do that because they're making your items so much more valuable, which mm -hmm. is true. So it's like this weird like the brands hate them, but they don't hate them at the same time because they are making their pieces really, really valuable because mm -hmm. they're so hard to get even in store. And yeah. like, I, as Jess knows, cause I talk to her about it all the time, have been like dad sandal hunting for a long time. I ta I I'm mm -hmm. on like five reserve lists. Like, I'm not kidding you. And I still haven't been able to locate them. And like, I've bought from these essays. Like it's, it's just, it's yeah, hard. They're not them. Yeah. They just don't have them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Very especially sad, the yeah. new that came out, the new um, the summer collection came out. There's the it's the mini flap. What is it called? The mini flap with the handle with has. Oh, yeah, I think that's you see that. Yes, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. But I was like, oh, what if I nobody has them? Yeah, yeah, they were all pre order. Yeah, yeah. they're all pre order. They're gone. No one has mm -hmm. them. I also <laughs> hate. I know it's sad. I also hate pre orders when you have to fully pay for something you don't know you're going to get. So like, I don't mind pre-ordering something if it's like, for sure, this is going to be reserved for me. But when yeah. you're putting down a ton of money and your credit card's getting charged and they're like, oh, you might see it. Like I might get it. I'm like, hmm, this is a little like suspicious. Like, you know, you kind of have to be on top of it. If you don't get it, you need to get your money back Yeah, pay for something that you don't have. Exactly. So that's always sketchy to me. Right, just I remember back in the day when everybody dying to get a Louis, Louis, Louis Vuitton push and Matisse and you can mm -hmm. just go ahead and tell, you know, tell them order for you. But then after a while, they said, no, you have to pay first. Mm -hmm. Then you'll get it, you know, so it's like. Don't you want to see it before you get it? Also right. true. Right. Yeah. But that so, happens a lot. I mean, I usually buy stuff and get it sent to me. I mean, I don't go in store at all. Yeah. Like even the dads, I didn't see them beforehand. I ordered them. She had so many of them and then that was it, you know? It's kind of how you have to do it. But I do think it is interesting because, you know, you as an individual buyer, right? You just want to buy one. You want to buy, say like the, what was that? That 21 P I don't remember exactly what Chanel collection was that caramel colored flat back, right? Mm -hmm. Like you just want to buy one for yourself to have, but there are other people who like are personal shoppers or resellers and they somehow get to buy like six and you're like I just don't understand all I want is one for myself like why is this so difficult when yeah. other people can get 10 and I just think it's kind of weird and I know I've heard that there's new Chanel rules about how many bags you can buy like I think it, it's per month I know Louis Vuitton mm -hmm. has uh, rules now about how many you can buy per year but then other people just get to seem to like just disregard those rules and it's like if you have them they need to be uniformly enforced regardless of what this mm -hmm. pe person is doing because it doesn't seem fair that you're being punished because like you're following the rules so you've bought less bags in the year and then other people are clearly just like whatever rules don't care and yes they bought more but you're like i would have too but i was trying to follow these rules so i don't get banned from this fashion house yeah, what if i want something later yeah exactly because like sometimes you feel pressure but mm -hmm, that, for sure that's the thing it's like you should buy new but sometimes it's harder to buy new so yeah. i have gone to where i have um i bought from the cruise collection 2020 where i have my denim bag that you helped me find mm -hmm. sam and i paid a yeah. little bit over retail i think with tax and everything i realized i paid 150 more yeah but that's like nothing in the personal shopping world because so. i bought it from somebody else so yeah. that's the trick i like to do is if you can find someone that's selling a piece then and that's how i got you helped me get my uh chanel 19 that way yeah Whereas i got it for forty seven hundred dollars which now i think they're over five for the medium size yeah medium size and leather i think is 
53, maybe three. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. The medium size. Cause I think yeah. the small is still under five, but yeah. So that's something like these popular pieces. It makes more sense to buy them brand new, but at least the Chanel 19 comes in so many beautiful colors, so many different styles that you're going to be able to find the Chanel 19. You do not have to pay like crazy, not unless you want it in the black or a specific color. Yeah. And another thing I always think of, which it makes sense for me to buy brand new is like SLGs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, exactly. You guys feel the I same totally way. Agree. I totally yes, agree. totally. Because the wear on the pre-loved SLGs, number one, and then two, because they were a lower price option, I don't find that there's a lot of a discount on them, or they're more because they're hard to find. Like the yeah. Louis Vuitton clay or the key pouch. Like I routinely see that on Fashion Five for like a hundred dollars more than it retails for, at least. Yeah, over four hundred bucks or five hundred. Yeah. They're so small, <laughs> and it's like yeah, and it's like just it's itty bitty. Yeah, but I love it. Yeah, I you have know, all three of those things prints, and then so. like the couches mm -hmm. and stuff. Even if you find them like with a little bit of a discount, it might be $50 and then there's so much wear. Right. Yeah, and exactly. you don't get anything with it. Sometimes yeah. you don't get any of the, the dust bags or anything like that. Yeah. I think another one that like fashion house that you think about that you should probably buy retail if you can is Hermes. But the problem is you have to get them to offer you things. You can't just like go into the store and ask for things, even if it's not a Birkin or a Kelly, because like I have had very experiences of very many Hermes and like, you know, some are really helpful and some are not like they probably have that bag in the back, maybe not the color you wanted, but they could show you something and they're just not going to. So yeah. the Hermes is another one where you're like playing this, like, I want to buy this retail. It's so much more reasonable retail, but I can't. And then that's how you get this crazy markup market. I know Jess was mentioning before we started recording this, like a Birkin 25 retail people don't realize is like 10 to 12, depending on leather. Right. And then they see it on fashion file and it's like 24 and they don't realize that's literally double the cost of it. Brand new from the store. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of crazy. You've got to know your retail prices. So sure. how much is the 25? I think I could look up exactly. I want to say it's like, it's 10 to 12, depending on leather. Let's look. Yeah. I know Purse Bop just did an article on it. Let's look it up. Because remember, remember, we just got back from uh, Vegas and my sister said that, oh, since uh, you and mom both bought the uh, Evelyn 29, because, you know, we all lumped it in one account, which is my mom's account. So my sister said that, oh, you almost need the quarter that you mm -hmm. get be mm -hmm. eligible, be offered into like a Kelly or Bergen. So I was like, oh yeah, that's true. But I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So these yeah. prices were 2020 prices. So I'm not sure if like 2021, they've gone up slightly, but in the U S a Bergen 25 in Togo is 9,850. Okay. Isn't right. that crazy guys? Yeah. Would you want to know how cheap it is in Europe? You should not even look at the European prices because it'll make you feel bad about your life. Oh really? But the thing in, is in Europe? Yeah, even you go to Europe, you may not get it, right? It's it's just oh, 50, sure. 50. Oh, Sam I, told you. She yeah. you were there. I you were tons trying. of time there. Yeah, and I have not ever been offered a Birkin or a Kelly. And um, I have very good essay and had purchases in London on Bond Street. And I actually stayed at a hotel that like my suite, my balcony, like looked onto Hermes. Like I was like right there all the time oh, and it was, on my walk to work. Vibes. Um and it's still staying. still no. <laughs> Um, and then mm -hmm. Zurich as well. Like I had an apartment in Zurich and so like I was there all the time and no, I mean, they're really nice. Like I would buy other things, but I was not their like client that they necessarily wanted to sell to because I was only spending like a week or two weeks every month in the city instead of like actually living there. But in case you were wondering in the U S equivalent of euros for a Birkin 25. So like if you're buying in continental Europe, so say you're in France, it is 7,422 and then you're not paying tax on that. And then you're getting fat back. So just That's saying, oh, because oh, I've also tried to I paid for my vintage one. Yeah. And I've also tried to get an appointment with both my passport and my husband's passport <laughs> for a week in Paris and did not get an appointment. So like, guys, I have tried. <laughs> That's the same thing happened to my sister, though. She and her husband both did yeah. not get an appointment. However, the sales associate told my sister that if you stay one more day, you might get it. But my sister's like, I can't stay one more day. The yeah. trip is sleep plan, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I totally understand that. And I didn't realize um, there are other stores in Paris that you don't need an appointment. You can just walk into and they have been known to offer people like Birkins and Kelly's and lots of hard to find bags. But I just didn't realize that I should go to another store to try. I was just trying, you know, the main reservation at the flagship store. So that's mm -hmm. a, a hint for anyone. If you're willing to like get up a little early and wait in a line outside of one of the stores that's not the flagship store, 
you can potentially get like a broken or a Kelly. Cause I know people who've done that. So but just, next time. But just, <laughs> but just think about the money that you save. You also pay for your trip and your sure. meals. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah. not a hundred percent will get one. So sure. it really depends, true. you know? Well, yeah, yeah, I was, you're in your I honeymoon. You, were, you had things. You I was were. on my honeymoon, so I was already going to be there. Um, oh, and okay. then when I'm at work in London and Zurich, I do not pay for my own food. Oh, meals, that's, hotel. Good. that's Yeah, good. I'm traveling on work. So, like, I fly on work. I All my food's covered. All my hotels are covered. Um, so, like, it was, it, it's the best case scenario because I'm not paying yes. for any of the extras, but I could, like, get the discounts on yes, everything yes. I was buying. So, well, then that was you great. can't beat that. You can't beat yeah, that. Yeah, I, I'm, I miss it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a lot of times, like buying from Europe, even someone, I, I saw someone that said, I know you have to tell me if I'm right, Sam, with the handbag math, but they were buying from other websites that were European websites, paying in euros. Mm -hmm. And then the conversion rate, even with like duties and stuff was less. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's right? totally There's true. Like, if you can pay in euros. Yeah. Even though they were like, they were paying here in the States, like they were just yeah. ordering it. Yeah, is that a trick? I think, I think it can be depending on the website because some websites, when they find out you're a U.S. based person, they will not let you pay in euros. So mm -hmm. it like really depends on the website and how they've adapted to like people buying from the U.S. Because if they have a lot of U.S. customers, they'll probably make you pay in dollars, and you're still getting a discount because it is going to be less than like U.S. retail, but you don't get as much of a discount as if you were paying in euros. Um, right. And you have to be careful because like. California's only, I think only California does this. So if you do buy something and you buy it, so you buy it from like a European retailer, but you're paying us dollars and then you pay customs and duties as it comes in. You're not trying to be like sneaky or anything. Um, California will charge you a use tax on top of the uh, other duties and everything you've paid because California is money hungry and has no money. So uh, yeah, that's another fun one that I have recently learned. Um, only certain packages only coming from certain shipping companies. Um, I had never experienced it before. And I, actually like I'm currently fighting them because I did pay California taxes because I purchased it from eBay. So like I already paid taxes on it. I'm not paying taxes on it twice. Like I paid duties, oh, yeah. I paid California taxes and I paid the price of the good. Like I'm not paying a use tax on top of that. Sorry guys, if eBay is not paying you your tax, that's not my issue. Yeah, exactly. So we do um, have a question um, oh, from Leslie. Oh, sorry. Okay, no, we have a question from Leslie. Uh, said that, do you feel as good rocking a bag you overpay uh, versus a great bag that you got a deal on? I would say deal. I honestly like. I love when people are like, "Oh, I love your bag." And you're like, "Listen, this is how much I paid for." You know, like I know one of those moments. Too. Yeah, yeah, like one of those. Like, I got a really good deal. Just like, let me tell you. Um, yeah. But I will say, if you really want the piece and you're overpaying for it, I think you'll still rock it and still love it. Um, but I think it does make you reevaluate, re like, do I really want this bag if I'm paying $1,000 over retail for it? Like, yeah. if just you like, do. Just, just like this one, right? Just like this one. I got it from Fashion File. You guys, I mean, I just review. I got it for $1,000. That's Which crazy. One? Move it in a little more to, I don't know, other this side. side? No, other, other way. way. This way? Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little more. Oh, yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Isn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. Right. And, and you see the bottom is all clean. It's all clean. I mean, I would never get a color, uh, this color back. However, it's a thousand dollars. I'll get it even in yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right. I mean, this is because retail is how much? Oh, peekaboos are expensive. Over four. Yeah. 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 I think you're right. Somewhere around right, there. For first size, it's probably plus over five. Yeah, and and I, I just love it. I mean, the only thing I talk about it all the time is this uh, the turn lock here. And every yeah. time when I reach in, it's always scratch my hand. But, you know, it's just me. It's not the bat. But this bat is just so elegant. I mean, to me, mm -hmm. it's really elegant. And the size is great for anybody. I'm just super sure. So it does mm -hmm. not apply to me. But this is really great for the price I pay. And I would never pay the retail. Mm -hmm. I would not even pay for three thousand. So when yeah. I saw this this bag, I mean, of course, I got it like oh, I would say last year. Yes, early last year, January last year. And I was like, you know what? If I want to have a peekaboo, this is it. This mm -hmm. is the price I'm totally willing to pay, and I give myself a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Even one day I fall out love with this handbag, I didn't lose anything. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think Fendi is a good brand. Like if you want a Fendi bag, especially one of the popular ones, like you would buy, I would go pre-loved. Right. Was exactly. Yeah. Fendi, yes. Celine pre-loved. Yep. Even though I love Celine new, but yes, Celine loses its value very it quickly. It loses like that, loses its value right away. So oh, like, yeah. Celine, I'm going to hunt for a Celine micro. That's a I think I want the black. Like I want the micro. I don't want the the mini. mini. Yeah, I have the micro. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw your video on that. I really yeah. liked it. It's so, a good size. And I don't think I want the nano because the strap is really long. It is. It works for me, but I'm 5'10". So like yeah. people have to take that into account. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I got exactly. another one to show you guys, which is this. Uh, oh, I, love oh I want, I love the capucines. That's one I of my your favorites. Picture you posted. Yeah. And the reason I put a twirly because I kind of noticed, because when I first received, I didn't notice, but underneath here has a little mm -hmm. bit dark color, a little tiny. So yeah. I from your hand. Further. We recommend that for the yeah, light. So I just, you know, do a twirly. But this one, I also got it from Fashion File. And it's just the money I have saved. I save at least 35%. And mm -hmm. like I said, I would never pay the retail price because Louis Vuitton, I don't think it's worth it for that price. Mm -hmm. I would agree, especially not their leather pieces. I have looked at that bag in store like numerous times and just been like, it is so expensive. So I actually have a save search on the real, real mm -hmm. and eBay for that bag. Just like looking yeah. at prices and seeing where it falls because it does lose a lot of value really quickly. And right. I think that's because it's yeah. leather. You know, people don't associate leather with Louis Vuitton. Right, and uh, it says magnolia color, but I don't think this is magnolia. I think this is more like pink and uh, peach color. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a new color, so it's more it neutral. Look, so yeah. I'm glad it end up this color instead of the uh, magnolia, what they claim. And it has the strap, but I really thought that using- That's the PM? Uh, PM? Uh, no, it's the uh, BB. The BB? Oh, okay. BB? Yeah, I mean, not Queen, the Capucine BB. Yeah. yeah. For me, I need a BB. Yeah, so, the BB looks good. Yeah, yeah. it's cute. So, so I think these two handbags definitely go pre love because you don't want to pay, you know, I, I share with you guys already. I don't know if it's true, but Louis Vuitton is going to go up price according to the personal shopper, you know, my sister, sister's personal shopper. So it's just like they keep going up, but the quality is not there. So yeah. I would rather go to um, the uh, the pre love market, like Fashion File, the Real Real, or wherever, you know, the, 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 the pre love route. Because the money you have saved, you even one day you no longer like this bag, but you didn't carve out a lot of money yeah. to get this bag. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree with you. I think you have to be careful. I mean, with all fashion houses, right? It's also like a balancing of how popular th is this bag versus how like not popular. Because like, for example, you got a great deal on the Capucines. It's not like a super popular piece. But if you're right. going to buy like the Nano Speedy, all of a sudden you're paying way more than retail. So you exactly. just really got to know retail. And like, you might exactly. think something is a good deal on Fashion File, but it's not yeah. actually because you didn't realize right. how much the bag cost. Right. So you just got to right. be careful. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the thing is that you don't want to go over your hair because sometimes when you so madly in love this this item, you, you're losing it. You're losing it. Mm -hmm. And just like, yeah. you know, bidding an item on eBay, you're just yep. losing it. And end up re later, you realize, oh my God, I paid a lot more than I'm willing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Renee. Hello, Renee. Renee is also online. And she said that she purchased a pre love Fendi and Celine too. Thank you, Renee, mm -hmm. for tuning in. Uh, yeah. Definitely good, good brands to be doing that with. I personally have bought a lot of Celine new, but that's because for some reason, Celine in Europe is much, much, much cheaper than Celine in the US. I'm not sure why it like the conversion is crazy different. And so like I was basically paying pre-loved prices for brand new pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's still true. I haven't bought new Celine in probably like a year, a year and a half, maybe two. But at one point the price in Europe, and this was continental Europe versus pre-loved in the u.s were like the same and i was like well i'm just gonna get it new well yeah and, yeah but yeah. in general celine is definitely not going to with like is not going to hold its value which is sad because i think they're actually beautiful bags oh i've been looking but, at some of the older style celines because you can get like good prices on it like great prices bags they used to lust over yeah and you actually have one of those bags the shoulder bag one i forget what it's called but it's like very simplistic it has like a pocket in the front sam i, I know you is have it that the one. Oh, the Sangol, the Celine Sangol. Yes, it's a thicker, it's, like it's a shoulder yeah. bag. Like, yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's and great. And it, it holds a laptop. It's on you. It yeah. holds a laptop. It's great. Yeah, it's it's like a great size. And I think I got mine. I'm Mine's not that old. And I think I got around like $600, $700, which was amazing. Awesome. See, it's I a little to... corner wear, but Yeah, I saw your picture. <laughs> I saw it, and I was like, 
<laughs> start start looking. You start know, hunting. Like, I see Sam. I was like, Sam's got this. And let me just, I meant yeah. to ask you about it because I saw your picture. Yeah. No, I know. It's like Jess has it. I need it. We have the same closet. <laughs> but I know it's good because you're picky like time. I am. Yeah. So I know yeah. it's good. I know she got a good price. Right. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. tell me about buying brand new. I think like Louis Vuitton, Pachet Matisse. I still think uh, we should go with brand new. You know, like this one. I mean, I might as well show it because this is the one that I got a brand new because retail, you probably, I mean, pre love, you probably paid a lot more. But mm -hmm. I still think this handbag is the uh, the iconic of Louis Vuitton besides the uh, speedy and uh, never food. If I have to get a piece uh -oh. of salt out, this is definitely the one because, you know, because I really think this is more, um, it compromises all the styles in one. You know, because I speedy and never full. It's not really a formal bag, but mm -hmm. the Louis Vuitton Pusha Matisse can be formal, can be casual. Mm -hmm, and yeah. can be ca uh, cross body or top handle. So I really think this, if you only need one bag from Louis Vuitton, that's the bag because I think for the price, I think it's like $2,000 now plus tax. It's gotten so expensive. So, huh? It's gotten so expensive. I think I bought, granted, I bought mine right when it came out and I think right. it's like $1,300. Yeah, yeah. And then later on, we <laughs> 16 and then 18 and recently oh like 19 gosh. and now it's 2000. Oh my so gosh. people out there, if you guys want one, get it now. Because mm -hmm. even later you sell it, I don't think you're gonna lose a lot of money because I think yeah. this is the purse that to here to stay for many years already. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I completely agree with you. We have a question here that Eva did that thoughts on buying Chanel Prelove from a seller for almost retail or just saving up and trying to buy brand new. Um, but the Chanel Prelove market has gone up. So like, what do you yeah, think for about sure. if you can buy, see, I bought my Chanel 19 for retail, but it was pre love, but it was in like new condition. Mm -hmm. Did you pay tax on it, Jess? No. Or did you? Okay. So that's a saving. So that's a little savings. But she bought it for 43. Oh, true. Okay. Because so she, she got it before the price it. increase. Yeah. So, you know, because the price increased so much. Yeah. I mean, that's true. I think, you know, a big factor for me with savings is to do the full amount you're going to pay up the bag, with right? Tax. So like exactly. if you yeah, tax, I mean, that's huge. I like, I know yesterday when I was at Hermes, like seeing what I, and actually bought versus like what I had to pay. I was like, that's like almost another, you know, like thousand dollars worth of tax. Thanks, California. You mm. know, like that's a lot of money versus like, you know, if you are going somewhere where maybe you don't have to pay, you're not paying tax, or if you do have to pay duties, you need to like calculate that all into the final price because it could make a difference. It could be a couple hundred dollars. And at that point, yeah. I'm more leaning pre-loved than buying in store because also like, what if you can't find it in store? Like classic flaps are like really hard to find in store right now in certain colorways um, because of, it sounds like Chanel is doing it on purpose. Like it's a Chanel thing and not just like a demand thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, you just have to weigh out the price and also what's worth it for you. I People often ask me like, should I buy pre-loved? And I'm like, well, you know, like how picky are you with how the bag looks, right? Like if it has some dents or some corner wear, is that going to bother you? That's something to consider. Also, like, are you, for you, is it worth saving up a couple hundred more dollars? Or do you want the savings of a couple hundred dollars? You have to figure out where that savings is worth it for you. For me, honestly, probably I'd save a couple hundred dollars because I'd want to put it towards something else. Mm -hmm. But for some people, that's not worth it. And you should just buy new. Exactly. And especially if you want the experience too. Yes. Right. For me, yeah. I don't really care about the experience. Me neither. Like I'm excited about the bag. Yeah. Like yeah. that's what I, that's the beauty. I it, the art. That yes. stuff is what excites me. So not so much the in store treatment. Yeah. Yeah. And Stacey also said that have any of you been to the retailer store now popping up in many cities like Fashion File in Ningmans yes. and the Real Real. Uh, well, there is a Fashion File in Ningman uh, in, oh, know, cool. in Dallas Fort Worth, but. That's only for you to drop off the items. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or the, I think they can give you a quote, something mm -hmm. like that. So they it's can. not really, it's just like a a drop off, you know, like the Amazon mm -hmm. drop off places, you know, in Kohl's or, you know, mm -hmm. at, um, some kind of supermarkets. So that's only for you to drop off, but it's not really for you to shop. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I have been to a lot of them. Um, so I have been to a rebag store in New York. I have been to a fashion file store in Beverly Hills and I have been to a real world store. They have one in San Francisco and they just recently opened one in Palo Alto, which is close to where I live. Um, and those are like true stores. And then I also all the time, whenever I sell the fashion file, go to my close Neiman Marcus and like Amy was said, and just drop off my bags there because yeah. then they're responsible for them. And I'm not responsible for the shipping. And recently awesome. shipping has been like 
really bad. So I'd much rather just drop it off with them. I also get paid quicker when I drop it mm -hmm. off with them first when right. I ship it in. Um, and I love going in stores to uh, like the real, real, real rebag because you can like actually see the item. Mm -hmm. But I do think that with those places, you're getting better deals online. Yes, um, for, the same, for the same for the same item because you can apply the twenty percent off code that the real real has all the time on certain items. Oh. Rebag has their ten percent, fifteen percent off, which is like amazing. Yes, um, you know you just have to like think of those different uh, deals that you're not going to get in store. So you're kind of doing a trade off because you're like in store you actually get to see the item and like touch it and try it on, but you're not getting the discounts. But then online you don't get all the pictures and you don't get to like touch the item, but you get deals. So definite yeah. trade off. Right. Mm -hmm. And Rebacks always offer coupon codes where Fashion Fire hardly give coupon, uh, coupon True. Code, except like several times a year, like the uh, Luna uh, New Year or something, mm -hmm. something. But, but they do the free that, layaway, which is nice. Yeah. Yes, so I'm doing that when I sell something to them. Yes. That I know that I want this particular bag. So I want to hold it. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid it won't be there, but I want to pay. I want to get the um, 10%. Yeah. Trade More it. in your sale, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so, Jess, you have experience with Reback because I know you bought several, and I would love, uh, you know, to hear about your experience and how many days that uh, the return policy and the condition, you know, as they describe, you know, could you share some of that with us, please? Yeah, I really like Rebag. I've never sold anything to them because I felt like their quotes were low. Agreed. Totally agree. Totally agree. A better deal, and I just thought they're because they do all this coupons and yes. different things. So I've never sold to them and I've never had to return anything to them, but I believe it's 30 days. Okay. And I've been I able to have, is it 30 days? Of, I think it's 15. I can't remember. Ooh, so I did return something to them and you have to pay for return shipping, oh, which is yeah. unfortunate. Um, and then, you yeah, they also deduct if you got free shipping initially, they also deduct that from the price. Oh, so you end up paying like $40 yeah, in shipping. Anything. Oh my yeah, goodness. I had to, no. something was sized wrong. I like, I thought it would fit and it was still too big. Um, and it was like way too big, like that. I couldn't make it work. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, ah, $40, but I was like, I'd rather get back the other money, like compared to what I was going to get a refund for. But like, I would not say that they're super return friendly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, so you can, you, yeah, like I think all these are like a trade off. It's like mm -hmm. you can get really great prices, but you usually have to sacrifice something. Yep. Yes. You know, I'm, I don't really have one place that I can have it all. No. Nope. It used to be eBay. Any, yeah, like in my opinion. <laughs> but now you like pay taxes, you pay duties. You have it all. I mean, yeah, no. No, I don't think so. But um, I do like Reback because I've gotten really good deals with them. And I like whenever I had a problem. Like I just like I was trying to negotiate a price, but they didn't do it. So I saw a I actually got which I'll reveal later. I got a a, a Gucci um, bum bag, the small one, uh -huh. and I saw one that they had because Rebag is on other sites, like mm -hmm. they're on Poshmark, they're on other places, and they were on Vestiaire, and it was cheaper on Vestiaire than buying from the Rebag site. So I never I understand out. that. I know because they had the ten percent off. That. Yeah, but. I don't know. I had ended up having a credit, so it was fine. I ended up being cheaper getting it through yeah. uh, the Reback site. But I asked them if they would honor the price. Price like, matching? <laughs> yeah, it's because it's their price. It's like actually them. And they wouldn't do it. It's on a different they site. They wouldn't do it. So and they don't try. They don't pay any fees on their own site. So you think they would? That doesn't make any sense. That's actually really weird to me. Isn't it weird? That's weird. But, That's really weird. Yeah, and now they do free shipping because they didn't used to do free yes. shipping. So. Rebag, I really like. They do have some flaws. They're working on it. I feel like they're kind of hearing us. Yes, I, I agree with you on that. We and then, like, the no hassle returns. Like, they need to... Because they are a smaller company than Fashion File. For sure. Yeah. So, I get that. And there's a lot of people that will buy stuff in return and buy stuff in return. Yeah. I mean, like, all the YouTube stuff where people are like, oh, I I did a haul. Well, how much... Yeah, and then it all goes back. Yeah, I can no, never I totally agree. agree with that. And it's you hurting... Know? these retail that's, companies that's yeah, for why. sure because yeah. they're there it's free shipping there it's free shipping back yeah. and if they're not keeping anything it costs them money well especially if they've like tried it on and kind of wore it like if you've ever wanted for a video and you're filming and like i don't currently have like i'm not in my filming studio so i don't have my lights on but like those get really hot you kind of get sweaty you know like you're moving around a lot like you basically have just made the item like unwearable again like they're yes. not, i mean are they going to actually be able to resell that like who knows yeah, just because have... you know my rant. Just because tags are attached. Yes. Yes. Not yes. Even brand new. Yes. I totally agree. 
We have a question from Veronica. She said that, hello, what do you think about the Palm Springs mini backpack? Is it the bag you will buy? Are the mini backpack trend out, you think? Thank you, Veronica, for this wonderful question because I want that mini backpack. I have one. I have one. I love it. I would say the mini backpack trend is not out. Mini bags are totally here to stay. They've gotten smaller, if anything. Mm -hmm. uh, the mini Palm Springs backpack will totally fit your phone. It'll actually fit a full-size wallet. You can. I normally actually wear it crossbody and not as a backpack. Um, and then it's like all seasons. Like I would wear it in the snow in Zurich because it is treated leather. So you don't have the vaquetta you have to worry about. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's around to stay. And I also think something I've noticed with the pandemic is people are having a little more individual style. So I feel like there's gonna be a lot of styles that are sticking around for longer than the you know early 2000s, late 2000s, where like we were truly like a trend bag mm -hmm. group. You know, I think of all the, you know, Chloe Paddington, like, you know, that or that sort of thing. And like, those were in and out. And I think we've moved away from that a little bit. I think the bum bags here to yeah. stay, the backpack, the mini backpack are here you to know, stay. I know I got on that trend, the bum bag. Yeah. And I had the I like my bum bag too. PM and I love it. And I was, I actually just used it today because it took my son to the park. Right. Yeah. Hey, and I get the know, snacks, everything in it. Yep. It's and you know the perfect. reason, and the reason the trend still stay, you know, this is my thoughts. The reason the trend still stay is because they don't make a bum bag, just a bum bag, because they make the strap a little bit longer. You can wear as crossbody. Yep. And then they make the bad pad that you can, you know, re uh, readjust the strap and use it as crossbody or shoulder bag. So mm -hmm. the designer is become smarter now. They can't just give us that one bag with one style. You know, because we spend so much money and now if you can wear multiple different ways, I still mm -hmm. think the trend, it will last longer than, you know, it should. So I think, you know, mini uh, the Palm Spring Mini, I will buy it even next year this time. Mm -hmm. I will still buy it. I yeah, think I'm considering yeah. getting one too, if I can get yeah. a good price for one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. and my coworker just got one yesterday because I told her about, hey, you know what? I heard Louis Vuitton price is going to go up. So she went to the mall yesterday. She ended up getting two handbags. Erin, if you're watching, shout out to Erin. But she got <laughs> that Palm Spring, a Palm Spring mini backpack, and she just absolutely loved it. And yeah. it's a great bag. It and is. I think any age can wear it. Honestly, I was a little worried when I first got mine because I was like, "Am I too old for a mini backpack?" Like, I'm not a teenager anymore. I do anymore. that all the time. I'm you like, know, but can I pull this off? Yeah, and honestly, you can. If you love it, you're mm -hmm. gonna rock it, and yes. it's not gonna matter. And no one's gonna be like, "Oh, look at that older lady wearing a mini Palm Springs mini." No, they're gonna be like, they're "Oh, look at the cute cool. Palm Springs mini." Exactly. Hey, Sam, so, like, don't talk about old. Okay, you're the youngest. <laughs> she is the youngest. But still, I, I, you know, sometimes I think I dress kind of old because I work in such a conservative industry. So I'm often yeah. doing the like, "Can I wear this if I'm photographed in this? Will I be embarrassed if it ends up on Instagram, et cetera, et cetera." Yeah. But sometimes yeah. you just gotta rock it because you love it. Yeah. Exactly, so, and yeah, it's actually. how you interpret this handbag and how you, you know, kind of like uh, transform this bag into incorporate into your own style. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's why fashion is awesome. Yeah, yep. <laughs> you can make it your own and own it. So yeah, yeah, I would say if you love it, like you have to have love. I have to have love before I buy a handbag. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And I also think that's one that you might want to try to buy retail if you can find it, because mm -hmm. depending on the condition on the pre-love sites, a lot of times it's over retail. Right. Um, and then the ones that are under retail, you'll see that bag does wear, um, yes. especially if people wear it all the time and they can be pretty hard on it. Yeah. And so like you might not be getting the best deal pre-loved on that. Right. right. Yeah, the and older versions, that... you have to push it in to open yes. it. And that's what I have, the older yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they have a new version where records. the zipper is showing the new Yeah, version, exposed right? zipper. Yeah. Exposed and I think zipper. that I don't love the look of the exposed zipper as much, but I think the functionality is much higher than the the old style for sure. The reason they do it so people can't steal your stuff. Yeah. Right. Backpack. But all you have to do is you push the because I have an older uh PM and you just push mm -hmm. the flap in and unzip yeah. one hand, no problem. Yeah. So. yeah. You just mm -hmm. gotta remember to do that or else you like can snag the uh exposed what canvas are doing. Zipper. Yeah. Right, right. So you know what? Well, some of the uh, like you know when we talk about pre-love or brand new, some fashion houses, for example, uh, you know besides Fendi or Celine, there's another uh, fashion house that I like to bring it up is YSL. As much as I love my YSL, I still think the retail value. I mean, the resale value is so poor that sometimes mm -hmm. you can just get yourself a really good deal on any of this pre-love market. But mm -hmm. they go on sale. Yes. So Oh you yeah, can get yeah. It new. right, right. Yeah. I, most of my Saint Laurent is new, actually. 
So okay, so where do you so do you buy it from like the Yoneta Porter or uh my Theresa or uh, Tespit for one okay. jump the Jama shop. Jama shop. Mm -hmm. What's the other one I've done? I know I've done Netta Porter before. I have bought straight up from Neiman's and Saks because they will have deals where they have like a certain mm -hmm. amount off and it applies to St. Laurent. And so you're mm -hmm. getting a brand new bag that's easy to return if it doesn't work for you oh, from yeah. Neiman's or Saks and what you get cash back. About, like, you spend 2000 you get like yes. $400. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, right, right, yeah. right. And, and, and that's another way. Your styles with St. Laurent is more expensive in the pre-love market. So like your Lulus are going to be closer to retail. Yes. And uh, the collage bag and mm -hmm. I think that's it. The puffer. Yeah. The puffer Lulus. Yeah. And the regular. Yeah. Lulus. I'm yeah. do for the Lulu. So I'm always, I, like the Lulu I, mean, I still want Lulu because I sold two of my Lulus, but I never regret it because that was in velvet, you know, material. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in Texas is so hard that yeah. I, mean, I, yeah. just, I realized it's just way too hard. Because when I got it was in December, like November, December time. So at the time, I didn't realize till later on. But I sold it. I didn't even lose money because I got a mm -hmm. really good deal from, I think, uh, Netta Porter. So, mm -hmm. so now I'm like, I still want my Lulu. I want the Lulu, but I want the leather. The leather. And yeah, I want the leather's leather. great. Yeah, I want in beige color, but that's mm -hmm. in the back burner. You know what? It's right now, it, mm -hmm. until the world completely open up, buying another handbag, it just have to let it sit for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I get yeah. that. I wish I did that, but I don't. I'm like, oh, oh let yes, me take yes, this yes, handbag yes, to the yeah, grocery I store. <laughs> yeah, I strut. I strut in Target. Yeah, I feel you. I do the same thing. I've gotten a little better with like designer shoes not buying as men or not buying shoes in general because like i don't leave the house a lot but even that like if i find a really good deal i cave so and, and i have a question for you late yeah, you ladies that do you feel weird or uncomfortable to wear your designer handbag to go to grocery store or any place that's non-significant or like go nope. to the bank do you feel nope. weird or uncomfortable because nope. i don't I don't either. I will straight up take my Birkin into like McDonald's. <laughs> like, I do not you, care. Good for you. I bought it. It was expensive and I love it. People don't really notice. Because when I was also. first starting my designer journey, yeah, uh, you know, years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, people are going to judge me or they get a thing. Most people don't know. And the people no. that know are like your people. Yeah. Yes. So I don't even think about it. And thanks to Amazon, I carry my Birkin around. Nobody even notices like it's a Birkin. That's true. It, because That's people, true. they just assume whatever they assume. Because at first, I thought, oh, am I going to be targeted? Like, it wasn't more like, I was like, oh, am I going to be targeted because I have an expensive bag? But most people don't even yeah, notice. people don't know. People don't notice. I think, you know, when you do, I think the only time I've ever been, like, weary of what I'm carrying is when I'm traveling and I'm clearly a tourist. Like, when I don't know where mm -hmm. I'm going. Even yeah. then, I still carry designer. I'm just smarter about the type of designer bag I'm carrying, exactly. right? Like I want it to be crossbody. I want it to like fully close or zip or something like that. Yes. I'm not going to be carrying, you know, I love bucket bags. I'm not going to be carrying an open bucket bag on the subway right. system in Rome. Like I don't know Rome that well. I've only been there a couple times. Yes. But, you know, like if it's like home, I live in the suburbs. So like I drive everywhere. The bag just goes next to me in the car. Like we don't really have public transportation. So that's, you know, something mm -hmm. always to consider about your bags. It's just like, are you in an area where you're not being safe? Not necessarily because it's not designer, but because of the type of bag you're carrying. Right. Correct. And, and Sam, uh, you have a message from Bex and Bunnies. She said that, Sam, I took your advice from the last live stream and took my pre-love Palm Springs Mini to uh, Louis Vuitton. They deemed it defective, and I Perfect. got the full retail price back in store credit. Thank you awesome. so much. Hey, that's so Yay. good. Yay. You're the best. Louis Vuitton can be really great. Um, you know, it's definitely sales associate dependent, but like yes. they will own up when they have given you a bag that's defective. I think they're one of the best companies that does that. A lot mm -hmm. of other companies will be like, oh no, maybe we can fix it. And you're like, no, they there's no you. Yeah, or they'll be like, how did you wear this bag? Yeah, and you're like, like a normal bag. On my shoulder? <laughs> like you it's feel like you're, you're like crazy person flinging your <laughs> you're bag. like, what am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, well, obviously no, I got great. into a fight. And right. yeah. <laughs> and you have to be persistent, you know, you have to be fight for your right because yes. after all, those are reputable designer stores. And if you don't ask, you don't demand, you're not gonna get what you deserve. So the worst they can say is no. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Exactly. It's like if you don't ask, you know, sometimes we do feel embarrassed. But I think now that I'm like older, I've gotten a little less embarrassed. And it's like, hey, I've got power. Yeah. When I was talking to you, Sam, yeah. it's like we have power as a consumer. 
Yes. Even though sometimes we feel like we don't. <laughs> yep. We definitely do. Exactly. So when we're not happy choice. with something. Yeah. You know what? As I get older, aging more, my skin is thicker. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, what do I have to lose? I just say it. I don't care. I'm mm -hmm. not going to see yeah. that person again, maybe. <laughs> That's true. That's so true. I mean, for me, sometimes I will get nervous and then I'll bring back up, aka my husband or a friend, just, and they won't talk just to have yeah. someone else with me. Be like, I can know. you please come into the store with me because I know I'm being judged. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to have self confidence. You know what? Doesn't matter who judge you. You know, you are right. You do the right thing. You, you fight for yourself because no one can fight for you. Yeah, that's very true. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's your money. If you pay over true. retail, you pay over retail. Like it's nothing to be ashamed of. Exactly. You exactly. know, how you choose. Cause I always said when I bought my Kelly, how I was, I was handbag shamed for getting, you know, even though, I mean, I, it was a vintage Kelly, but I didn't buy it brand new. So they, so they said I was like a poser or something. Like it was the weirdest comment that I got. But being <laughs> handbag, I was like, I've never been accused for paying too little. <laughs> Yeah, keyboard warriors. They they will come out and they they the can troll. be very angry. Yep, because yeah. they're it they're the hiding. Algorithm. It yeah. totally helps the algorithm. I always tell just that. I was like, it's very nice that they commented on your photo because, or you know, on your YouTube video because that definitely just helped. Yeah, so I commented thank you. back. I always try to clap back <laughs> because I want to. Yeah. my inner Chrissy Teigen. You know, I normally just leave it there for a little bit and then delete it or just delete it because yeah. like I'm just not going to deal with it and I'm not going to fight with you. Mm -hmm. so. but you know what i'm so glad like three of us we don't really know each other that well until like recently we start doing this live stream and get, get to know each other more and one thing i'm really glad is our thinking is the same like we we not feel anything different or embarrassed or we are about wearing our back to any place like mcdonald like bank or even grocery store because some people do feel that but you know what you, you can't really judge them feel that way because it's all about how you feel you're, you're yeah. confident, you know, because, you know, I don't, I, I didn't start collecting the uh, designer handbags until a few years ago. But back in the day when I was in my 20s, I already owned my first designer bag, like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and Speedy. But I wear it everywhere I go. I never thought that people were actually looking at me, the logo, oh my God, that's Louis Vuitton. I never thought about that because it's just been part of me because my sister mm -hmm. always wear designer bags and she always save all her money. My mom always do. So it's kind of like you grow up with the environment. It's not like I'm rich or anything. No, you don't have to be rich to own designer handbags. That's all you I also hard. agree. And you, you, you want to be part of it because that's how you improve your lifestyle. You don't work hard. You just want to be, okay, I'm happy now. I don't need to wear, I can just wear regular handbag from Walmart or anything. That's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with it. If that's the lifestyle you want. But if you mm -hmm. want to be better, you want to feel better, you work hard, you buy it. It doesn't really um, come a symbol of you being wealthy or rich or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I completely agree. And I think we're kind of actually seeing that a lot with yeah. people want to pretend like they're, you know, something they're not. And that's happening a lot on TikTok with all the fakes and stuff. Like yes. people are trying to live a lifestyle that they think they should have, but they're not willing to save up for it or work hard for it. And like, right. that re always really bothers me. And I've said this uh, to a lot of my friends when I talk about like fakes and stuff is if you're buying like a, a, a good, I'm going to put it in air quote fake. And then you're buying a like vintage bag. They're probably about the same cost. And like people yes. don't realize that. And they don't realize that there is ways to buy luxury while still, you know, being cost conscious and being aware of how much money you're spending and like, yeah, you're not getting the brand new it bag for less than retail, but you're getting a great vintage piece that like, for example, the speedy, you can definitely get the speedy on mm -hmm. other websites for way less than retail. Yes. And that's such a classic, such a mm -hmm. classic. It might have a little wear, but like, that's just what's going to happen to the bag. Right. Like, that's what right. happens. Yes. I saw someone who had a vintage speedy. I was, it was pandemic. My first time out, you could tell she just loved it. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, cause she was like, she was outside and she's like, where am I going to put my speedy? You know, <laughs> I've, I've been there. That's all you could eat. And it yeah. was in her lap. And I was like, girl. Oh, done that. Done that too. And also yeah, like, I, I think. I'm like, let's I give her a chair. <laughs> here for her speedy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Like it was beautiful vintage. Like patina was so dark and honey color. And I just, oh, 
I wanted to say yeah. something, but it's pandemic. So yeah. And she, you know, I think another thing too, that we also like kind of forget is like, there's nothing wrong with bags that show wear. If you ever look at like any Parisian, like really like fashionista, they like kill their bags because they use them all the time. Yes. They bring them everywhere and like, it's going to wear. And like, I actually kind of love that vibe. That's why I love like Hermes heritage leathers because like they wear and they get their like own story to them. And it's like really cool. Right. You're like, this yes. is such a cool, like vintage vibe and like it's such a like parisian style thing and parisian women are so quilting. i love the flat quilting. you can't tell me that oh, i love that you can't wear the chanel it's beautiful yeah. oh my it's god beautiful. i'm wearing a jean jacket it's shining the i have it all so... wrapped up but let me get it like on here <laughs> sorry i, I mean it's, a, it's like a classic Jesus, right like yeah but it like, has wear to it but like a classic like and this vintage yeah. I even wear, I love wearing a crossbody. Sorry, I'm trying to get the screen. So and we can see you. Cool. I'm so freaking cool right now, right? Like, right. <laughs> and that's just, the, that's the vintage look. And even 20 years from now, still look the same. Still yep. the vintage look, still very classy, right? Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Yeah. And you know what? I want to mention once again, it's like with just this, uh, the, the shelf, the bookshelf, the, I mean, not book, yeah, the look like the bookshelf for purses. And for me, my cubicle in the back, you know what? I never wear. Yesterday I went out with my sister and I, you know, for uh, for Saturday brunch, and then later later the day I went to mall. I never in a day wear two or three different purses in a day, because before I always wear one. Yeah, before I always just wear that one bag for a few days, for weeks, for months. But ever since I have this cubicle, I look at it. I'm like, oh, I'm going out again. Okay, let's change it out because it's so convenient, so convenient. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you I know love everything seeing them have. displayed a little bit. Right. Some I keep in dust bags, right. you know, but I like having some, like, it's nice. It's like you're going shopping in your own closet. Exactly. Yeah. You look at you it, know, you look that really good. And even you don't wear it because, like I said, we don't go out that much. But even you don't wear it, you look at it, you can justify the money. Art. Art. That's what I say. It I is. say handbags are art. I mean, they right? really are. They're beautiful. Yeah. And there's something you, you can think of the person that thought it up. Yeah. Like what, what were they doing? Like I was talking about the Loewe puzzle bag. Yes. Like someone thought that up and they are all handmade. Like there's a video on it. Yeah. It's yeah. Amazing. You sent I it to me, that. didn't you, Jess? I think I you did. did. Yes. And yeah. did it like it was like it had really soft, beautiful music. And then they do it for a Dior too. Dior had one where they were making uh, the, the Bobby. Uh, hmm? I think I've seen the Bobby. I've seen one for the Bobby. I saw like one for they were the book it. coat and it was okay. the machine that embroiders it. Because the whole, like, you know, the canvas of the book tote is, like, embroidered. Yeah. We had the machine, like, writing Christian Dior on Stunning. the book tote part. It was just beautiful. Yeah. Well, I think that's one of the things you buy with luxury, you know, we quality. We from Bax and Bunnies, but I thought she left. Oh, oh but anyway. All right. We're still going to answer because she may come back watch it again. Mm -hmm. Her question was, do you get your bags from the major reseller? Fashion file, the real, real, and reback authenticate again. Do you feel like it's necessary? Okay. So I can answer that one because I'm yes. really like a nut about authentication. Um, so it will depend on the bag, but I will say I always authenticate everything again from the real, real after their mm -hmm. kind of like scandal. Um, when I oh, buy yeah. handbags from them, just because they did have that like thing where basically the authenticators came out and said like we actually have never been trained in authentication, and so that did worry me. Um, I have not had one that's been not authentic, uh, but I do authenticate them just because it's worth it for me for the peace of mind. Yes. Uh, with Fashion File and Rebag, I do not worry nearly as much because no. I know they do a lot more extensive training with their uh, different uh, people who are going through it. And I also know Rebag does actually include like a little authentication card, which I believe they use the Entropy for. They use another, I think, authentication company to do that. If I remember correctly, at least they did at one point. Uh, which I really like. I did from Rebag authenticate my Birkin just because it was a Birkin and it was so expensive. Um, and I wanted my like own authentication certificate for it just in case they ever decide to sell it. But that was more just because of the exact piece it was and not because I was actually worried it wasn't authentic. Yeah. Okay. And Stacy Smith said, I love wearing my classic flap with my jeans as well. Jess, I think that's point to Jess. Thank yeah. you, Stacey, for the comment. You know, with classic flap, you can wear anything, even with Agreed. your shorts. It doesn't matter. Even with your PJ, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, where would, yeah, where would you love? Just like, yes, exactly. 
don't worry about age. Yes. Like I want to do, I'm going to have to do a video on like fashion rules that you should that don't apply. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You should I break these agree. rules, you know, white after Labor Day, break yep. it. All right. Anybody hear about winter white? But I would love, like, I love break the dress for your age. Exactly. Agreed. Well, we're gonna stay tuned for that video, Jess. I know. Yep. I need to. I just be like, break it all. <laughs> and Lynn E fifties fashion likes has another question. Says, what can you say about the Lindy from Hermes? Will you consider buying it? So I was in Hermes yesterday, literally yesterday in San Francisco. Um, I was showing it to my husband because I think the Lindy is really cute. He yes. does not understand it. He like, I'm uh, granted, I wasn't trying it on. So I didn't like pick it up and show him like how it looks when you wear it. But one uh, lady in the store was wearing a mini Lindy and it was so cute and it looked adorable on her. I would totally consider the mini Lindy. Um, I think I would also consider some of the smaller size Lindys, but there does become a point, And I think this kind of happens with a lot of Hermes bags where they get like too big and then I wouldn't consider them. Cause like mm -hmm. the Lindy is a bag to me that looks better, smaller. I would yes. totally buy it. I um, I would consider buying the mini new. Um, I would consider buying the Lindy in some of the smaller, bigger sizes, uh, pre-loved because it does, it is one of the bags that actually will lose its value from Hermes. So. And we have another question from, uh, Michael property talking about dust bags. Do you guys wash them? No, oh, that's I a never really good question. I have never, oh wait, I have washed one, but that's because I by accident spilled something on it. Oh. But generally, yeah. no. I've never, yeah, I've never washed one. Yeah, me I neither. Never, yeah, I never even thought of like. I never thought about it because. because <laughs> and then now we're both like, are we dirty? Everyone's like, should we wash our dust bags? <laughs> I mean, because I'm wiping them off. Dirty. But I know there's certain materials, like if you put it in the dryer, it would get like the, because I know someone that did wash one and it got all messed up Funky. in the dryer. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't put it in the dryer. If I was going to wash one, I would just like let it dry itself. Um, and the one I did wash was not a brand one, but a fashion file one. So um, that's, yeah. you know, might be a little bit different material as well. Well, you know what? We almost one hour and Leslie still watching, still tuning in. I really, truly appreciate Leslie because oh, she yeah. has a lot of Thank questions. You. Thank you, Leslie, for sticking with us this long. You're and the best. Leslie's question is, what's the most you will pay for a vintage or a mess back? No uh, typical style. Uh, I mean, anything under retail. Like, like really good condition. Yeah, retail. Probably like 12. Yeah, or under retail. Yeah, I think I think okay. if I was buying like vintage pre-loved, I would want to be getting some sort of a deal that would be like, you know, a, a little under retail or retail. I wouldn't pay twenty fourth. I wouldn't pay double for mm -hmm. one for sure. Um, just Especially because like, if I you the color and yes. what you want because you're not guaranteed to get it anywhere else. Agreed. So totally agree. This is something I would pay more than retail for for sure. For me, I tr because I'm like working with an SA and have a pretty good relationship with her. I would not want to pay above retail, but that's a new thing. Like previously I didn't have a good relationship with a sales associate. So I would definitely consider, um, like just said, going a little over retail because like, if you find exactly what you want mm -hmm. and you're actually getting it, that's great. It's can be really hard to build a good relationship with a sales associate. And then you do have, you know, the whole game where you like, can't just, and what if they don't get it? And, yeah, exactly. Like so, your, yeah. your green, uh, yeah, my green Cypress. I'm obsessed with dark green and yeah, it's a little bit of a hunt. And Michael Puray tape uh, uh, made a comment said that she kept her her bag in a dust bag and they get dusty now. So maybe that's why mm -hmm. uh, she has this question. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you want to wash it, uh, you know, like Leslie said that you can wash it, but maybe just just let it never dry. Don't put yeah, it. In no, yeah, no dry. Yeah, no yeah, dryer. No dryer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I never did that, but I got someone gave me a dust bag once and I'm like, what happened to this? <laughs> like, you know, I was, they're like, oh, I put it in the dryer because it was dirty. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. buying it from somebody and she told me that she accidentally messed up the, the dust bag. Interior. I don't yeah. know if yeah. you can see that dust bag, but. And Eva has yeah. a question maybe for all of us. So uh, Eva's question was, if you had to restart your collection and can only do one bag from each fashion house, what would you get? So let's start with Louis Vuitton, Jess. Louis Vuitton, uh, uh, no way. Okay, Sam? I love my no way. Uh, a never full GM. Okay, so for, for me work. is uh, for Chez Matisse. Good, we not fighting. We all have our own back. Okay, <laughs> 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 Chanel, Jess. Uh, Chanel, uh, I would say. Oh, I love oh, my boy. Chanel. 19. That's hard. The nineteen. The nineteen's a good one. I feel like I'm talking dirty. Just they can't <laughs> hear me. I mean, I would say 
probably the classic flap vintage. Okay, I, I love that one. Yeah, I think honestly the best like one would be the classic flap, even though I do like my 19. Mm -hmm. I do think that's beautiful. And I think the trendy is also a really pretty bag. Okay, mm -hmm. for me is I'm not fighting with you guys. For me is uh, Coco Handle because as much oh, yeah. as I love my uh, classic flap, I hardly use it. I probably use it less than five times. I own it like two years already. Because it's mm -hmm. just, for me, I think my style is more geared towards to Chanel Coco Handle. But that's good. That's good. All that. right, so what's the next fashion house? Hermes, I mean, even though I only own that little tiny Hermes, but okay, for you, Jess, Hermes. Hermes, I would say my Birkin. I Sam? love my gold Birkin. I think I'd go with, I'll do you a little different. I'll go with the Kelly just because I do love the shoulder strap a mm -hmm. lot. So Okay. For me is I know I'm not ready for uh, Hermes, the big brother, sisters yet. So maybe I said the Apple because I think that's a really good price to starting out. Actually, I really want the 19, but 19 is all sold out. So if I ever go back to Vegas again, I'll probably, you know, uh, message Adam to see if she, he gets any uh, 19 because I still think it's worth getting. All right, I what's the next question? YSL, let's keep this game going. Thank you, Eva, for the question. YSL for you, Jess. Uh, Lulu, puffer, medium. Okay, Sam? I'd have to go with the Lulu puffer too. That's my personal favorite at the moment. Okay, I think for me, probably just the the, the toy Lulu, not the puffer, mm -hmm. the toy Lulu. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's see, uh, Prada, let's just keep the going. Prada, Jess? Uh, the uh, the re edition. Mm -hmm. What is it? The um, I think it's just called the re-edition, right? The original one they came out with. The, the one with the long strap or without the long strap? With the long strap. So that's long the strap is just 2005. Mm -hmm. Re-edition. Yes. Yep. Okay. I would also go you with too? the Prada re-edition 2005, even though I do like the, the same person. Yeah, we are <laughs> the, the same, same person. person. So. <laughs> we yeah. love the same fashion. This is why we're best. It's always the uh, backpack because I think Prada, oh, yes. they're very famous for their nylon. So I yep. love that. Yeah, let's do one more. Then uh, we go on to the next question. Uh, how about Gucci? Oh, oh, I love Gucci. Sam, I mean, yes. Jess. Yes. Gucci, I mean, I only have one Gucci piece, so I would say the belt bag. Okay, Sam. I only have one? I have I know, I got a rid of some. lot, guys. And I have a lot Gucci lover. of Gucci. I also like Gucci ready to wear in Gucci shoes. Um, to to I it. would go with the Gucci, um, the 1955 horse bit bag, the one that's oh, like the wow. monogram. I love yes. that bag and I think it's really pretty and I think it's going to be a classic for the fashion house. Yes, my mm -hmm. sister has one. And for me, um, I think the super mini mama, I used to have the media mama, I sold it, but I think the super mini mama is the cutest ever. And, it's so cute. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and like Eva talk about starting your collection, I think that's the must get piece because you can use it as clutch, crossbody, just super duper cute. And then, you know, you'd be surprised how much you can fit. You can I, use I, it as a belt bag I mean, too. Yes, yes exactly. I have. I've done that. Exactly. And I can so put cute. in a mini pochette inside so you see the capacity. All mm -hmm. right. So, Corey K has a question says, I have no Chanel boutique nearby. Can someone suggest a Chanel sales associate that can work with me? I mean, Florida. Mm -hmm. Sam has some amazing ones that she does yeah. in the department store. Yes, exactly. So feel free to DM me on Instagram and I can like give you their link to their uh, Instagrams. They're really great. And because they're in a department store, if you haven't necessarily bought from a Chanel, Chanel boutique, that's not an issue. They can still like charge send to you. Um, and it doesn't matter if they're in Florida or not. Um, being in a department store, they can just send them to you and they're really great. And they'll try to help you source whatever they can. And I actually have found that department stores get a better selection than mm -hmm. the Chanel boutiques. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because the department stores actually like place an order with Chanel. And so they're getting the like really hot pieces, but I've had way better luck with the Chanel yeah. department stores. Yeah. And they put them on their Insta stories too. So yes. like you see what they have and all you have to do with them is you give them all your credit card information, your name, all that stuff. And it's first come first serve. Yeah. Like, Oh, super easy. Got it. That's how I got my dad's sandals. Yep. Yes. And I don't know why I didn't mention, please go subscribe and follow these two beautiful ladies, Jess. <laughs> She's the posh and Sam. So I already put the information in the description box. So uh, please go subscribe mm -hmm. them, follow them, and have questions, go directly to them because they'll have a lot of experience with uh, luxury handbags and fashion. And we do have another question is, do you guys have insurance for your bags? <laughs> so this is actually a really interesting question that I discuss with my husband a lot because uh -huh. he often reminds me like, 
how much money is in my closet. Yes. Um, and we do, because we're renters, we do have a renter's insurance policy that okay. covers like a percentage okay. of it. Um, but I do think when we would move, I would need to probably like itemize them and get some sort of insurance for them, especially well, as my collection insurance. Like I yeah. have insurance. Yeah, you can. Oh, and you can be like up to a certain assets. amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's when you feel like totally guilty because you're like, yes, yes. It's a lot of money. like, oh, you have like $15,000 worth of bags. Yeah, you're like, no, keep keep going. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to admit, but you're like, yep. crap. Like, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. My husband. Insurance. Insurance. Yeah, you can get it. it. I think umbrella insurance too. Like you might be yeah. able to, but yeah. 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 I think it's something yeah. to consider, but I don't necessarily think you need to do it. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, if you're, if you have a collection of like 20 something Birkins, you should probably have insurance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because For like sure. imagine fire, you know, any sort of flood, anything like that, you would definitely want to somehow get that money back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Wow. Okay. So today I kind of, I, I mean, I noticed a lot more people tuning in. I don't know it's because people have more time or what, but. I thought we had a really great conversations and mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh and we have we got a lot more questions uh asked and we answered so i really appreciate everybody's time and we are our 65 minutes mark and everybody said it was very helpful okay oh, definitely want to do this again and maybe mm -hmm. next time well subject can be what's still trendy we're gonna brainstorm mm -hmm. and think about what we're going to talk about next time and uh yeah i think i think this is pretty much it right anything mm -hmm. else yeah. you guys if you guys have any suggestions of what yes. you want to learn more about yes please yes. put it like comments and let us know yeah. like what's something you want us to go in depth with right exactly maybe next time we will uh do uh maybe sam or or jess because you know you guys have a bigger uh, audience on instagram i don't i'm a little bitty one so maybe you guys can generate some questions to see if people can sure, sure, sure. we, we want to take it like slowly and you know one step at a time so to get people more familiar with us so that way uh mm -hmm. we're not going to overwhelm ourselves right and then not too many people tuning in but like i said people can always watch it later on but i feel like you know we're, we're getting better at this it's pretty fun to do live streams it went after. fast i remember it the first it always time i was like so yeah. scared right and then <laughs> i remember but it's my besties i feel like i'm just talking to you guys and then yeah, yeah. And this week, like 66 minutes already. I didn't feel that way. Time already an, an hour. But last week, feel kind of like, okay, right on point. But this week is so fast. So I guess maybe we're getting better at it and maybe more audience tuning in and ask questions. Mm -hmm. So that's that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Eva, thank you. Leslie, thank you. Corey K, thank you. Thank you for everybody tuning in on our live. But we will be back. We'll talk to each other and come up with an interesting subject. And then we'll do another live on the same days i mean the sunday afternoon right because i think that's what jess is available mm -hmm. yes <laughs> and probably and I, love too. You, jess. Yeah. I love you sam and love i will girls. see you guys next time bye bye, bye guys bye.